War. The rivalry between Hellas and Persia has reignited after the eruption of the Macedonians into the region, and the Greeks have been united under you, Alexander of Macedon. You have dauntlessly marched into Asia Minor and are now surrounded by your enemies. Although they are numerous, they are disorganized, uncoordinated, and cowardly. No match for your disciplined forces. Seize the initiative and defeat them individually before they can prepare their defenses. Victory in this campaign will etch your name into the pages of history for eternity. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome back to the final mission of the Glory of Greece campaign, Scenario 8, Alexander the Great. So the objectives for this mission are to defeat all enemies or destroy the wonders they attempt to build and then construct a wonder in the flagged area in Egypt. Without further ado folks, let's begin. Now I'm not going to lie, this is a challenging mission. We actually have Alexander the Great join us as well, which is cool. I'm going to want to focus on wood production here. Fishies here. We have a dock here. And then we'll build a town centre here as well. So I'm going to want to split the cavalry from the... Uh, Phalanx. So these are Phalanx, not Centurions, so they're weaker than you might think. I'm going to need this upgrade, uh, the one that gives plus two range. However, right now, it's not a priority. I'm going to put a town centre here as soon as I'm able. Mostly for the gold. So the reason I'm keeping the cavalry back is because this, the phalanx can do more than uh, more than capable of dealing with all the enemies this early on in the game. Build a couple of triums as well. Right now, it's kind of a bit of a balancing act. So, when the enemy starts sending um, catapults and um, uh, archers, that's when we'll be utilizing the cavalry more. So Alexander is an absolute beast with 26 damage. Send him back to do with a priest. We don't actually have that much time to take down the wonder. Um, we can actually build a siege workshop now. Really want to be taking too much damage from the arrow towers, but we do need to take care of their siege. Alright, 
So you start building some siege. My 800 seconds will soon disappear. We also need... Uh, which upgrade was it? This one. Uh, that second one of these, but trium or upgrade trium, I should say. Not so short on houses, so we'll build a couple of them. We need to kill the priests. No attack ground, thank you. So the reason we went for the upgrade is so that we can actually outrange the tower that's defending this wonder. I'm not going to be over greedy here and try and do the uh, stock battles yet. I'll do that in a second. Focus on taking down this, making sure I don't misplay. Someone kill the goddamn. Damn, dude. Well, luckily, it doesn't have much health, so we can finish it off. But not the prettiest, but it will do. Right, so now we need to focus on trying to see. I want to build a catapult trium. Secure our next gold mine, which will be here. That's what the houses we can build. Trying to go into uh, farm production now. Bombis, Rogan, Bombis, Oklahoma, Bombis. Alamar, 
At this point we can meet up the triums and we can start taking care of the enemy um, docks. The enemy slows down their attacks once you destroy the wonder. Um, I also want to grab some ballista as well. This one's a bit too early to be focusing too heavily on all the upgrades but I do want that one. Now we can start clearing the enemy um, coast. We should do one a couple more triumphs. I'm going to have to kill some stuff off. Do we not need 18 on wood? Is probably a bit too much. Take a couple of these down. Oh. Gold income. Now the tower's gone, we can send the boys in. And we're just going to clear up the coast, basically. Sort out all of their uh, buildings that are easily targetable. Take out their uh, ship infrastructure. Cripple the enemy. And we can push for uh, building a wonder. Which is definitely the easiest way of doing this mission. Could spend hours trying to kill the enemies and get them to resign. So we do want to get a couple of Heliopolis. They are really, really good. Finally afford it. Gonna grab a couple more. We do also need at this point a couple of phalanx. One guy you can repair. That's fish boats need to start fishing. We're running out of fish here, so we're gonna have to take over another island, which we will do in due time.
But yeah, basically systematically taking down the coast. So Red will be dead shortly. We do need to make sure that we've got enough troops to defend. Over here, an upgrade to Phalanx. Do you start with Centurion basically and get some horse armor? Oops, you can stay there. I'm actually going to grab a transport ship next. So at home we're going to build an army that stops anything the enemy can send our way basically whilst we build our... Um, wonder. It's really easy, like yellow is really undefended. Brown is actually the only real major threat in this mission. Red's basically dead at this point. Don't have to worry about him anymore. But before we do that, let's grab these catapult triums. Take this down at range. Cat poultry, I'm so damn good. Okay, we are running out of resources here, so I'm going to get the next mine, which is here. You don't need a thousand of each resource minus. Uh, Food for the uh, wonder, so we do need a surplus resources. out of it. I'm not building that on my watch. In fact, I'm going to leave one there. Oops. Did not see that one. That is me catapult triums. Take care of this. At this point, we'll go for the faster troops. Want uh, heavy calf. Not going to be building arches this mission. Wow, what the hell are these guys doing? Brown seems like he's never going to give up building a dock. Okay. Heal you, heal you. Okay, at this point we do need more um farms, so Woods in a great spot. Oh, we also need a thousand stone. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab you two and you. Just get you there and you can grab the stone. Where's me uh, cat pot tree? Um, not two left. Probably get a couple more actually. In fact, this many fishing boats I don't need. Of 
course, I decided to do everything but stone. <laughs> the irony. Uh, who else have I got? Fishing ship. Get rid of that. There's me catapult, boys. We've just got two left. No way. That outrange me. Oh, it's the archers. Damn. At this point, I think all we need is really worth upgrading the boys. Centurions are so much better. Um, I'm going to have enough stone, so I need to grab stone from here. So I guess I've got transport somewhere then. Oh no, it's in the queue. I see. Alright, once these guys have done that, I'm going to kill those off. And 50 pop, I swear, is so low. Like, why, why is such a small population limit? I don't recall, like, um, Age of Empires ever having just a 50 pop limit cap. Seems weird, but... Clearly it did, I just don't remember it. So Yellow is basically the protector of this. Take care of all of their stuff and then we'll uh, go ahead and end this mission. We have pretty much all the resources we need now for the most part. Build a uh, transport now. Wonderful. Oh, you lucky boy, nine elf. It's definitely dead. Great. Really, the only thing that's left now is this. Uh, there's only catapult triums there. Take care of these three buildings and then we're good to uh, transport the boys. In fact, I might need a second transport actually. Actually, you know what? We're having to kill them all off. Let's have them transported over.
Ratanjemok To start building a wonder, so we could try and deal with that, or we can build our own. Just what we're going to do. So the enemy has to wait a long time, whereas ours is an instant victory. Um, the only thing I do need to do is grab all the boys, get them sent over. I could walk them, but easier just to transport everything. Honestly. Ships are going to be a great anchor for us anyway. So he's building that there. They'll probably build it before us, but they've got to wait. I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Whereas ours is an instant victory. So we'll start building that. Uh, I shouldn't get rid of that. Where's me... Um, other transports. There he is. Send these guys back. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Send him over there. There's still two people in that. Help them out. Zero, nine. Grab the boys. It's unlikely the enemy will be able to stop us anyway. I'm just going to put these here just to make sure I'm not getting raided by on the coast. Even though we destroyed all their docks, so... Brown's the only one with a dock left. He's obviously rebuilt that one now, but... It's not really a priority for me right now to deal with. All of these, all of these, and then one of you. Last two, is there anyone else? No, it's pretty much everyone. Cool. 200, 500, that's fine. They'll, um, they've got time. So, yeah, that should be pretty much all she wrote, folks. Um, pretty straightforward victory by sea, for the most part. Catapult tree M's and tree M's are legit so powerful. <laughs> I wouldn't say overpowered, but the catapult tree M's are certainly, um, certainly a problem for anyone to deal with. Turns out they're not going to send anything. But yeah, they've got like 2,000 years, which is basically 2,000 seconds, I think, on 2x speed. Something like that. You can also build a town centre here and um, get... Actually, I'm going to do that now. Click on them. Build workers on that. I'm missing one. Yes, I am. Perfect. And then we get an instant victory anyway once this is built. To my knowledge. Actually, I might need to take out their um, things. It does... Can't actually remember if we actually have to destroy theirs or not. If we do... That could be a slight problem, but we've got Heliopolis that can pretty much plough through anything. I don't feel like my entire army. Ah, it's because I don't have room to unload. That's my Okay. So I'm going to prep just in case we do need to take out everything. 
In fact, their army comes from the south, so actually what I'm going to do is my other one. I'm actually going to come from the north because it's far easier for us. It might just instant GG, I can't remember. Well, I don't know, I haven't tested it, I should say. Okay, fair enough. So it is just an instant GG. Cool. Easy game, easy life, boys. All right. Noise. The disorganized, fragmented Persians were no match for your tactical genius. Despite being in the heart of enemy territory and vastly outnumbered, your armies have succeeded again and again, while the Persians flee and regroup for a final and almost certainly futile stand. Nearly a century and a half prior, Hellas stood on the brink of domination by the invading Persians. Now, your armies will surely conquer the weak Persians and move on to rule all of Asia. All right. Well, that'll right about do it for this campaign, The Glory of Greece. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And we will be covering the next campaign, which I believe is Babylon next. Um, do not despair, there are still eight campaigns left to tackle. Um, thanks again for tuning in and I shall see you in the next video.